What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and as you can tell by my voice, I have been doing very well lately. I've actually been in a car accident a few days ago, so my neck and throat are pretty messed up, but I actually wanted to make an iOS 5 jailbreak video, and I haven't made it in a while, I'm sorry about that. If I could, I would have, my voice sounded way worse a few days ago, so I'm glad it's getting better, but here it is, my iOS 5 jailbreak video for the iPhone 4 3GS, and for the iPhone 4, this is both CDMA and GS. SM. It's also for the iPod Touch 4th and 3rd gens and the original iPad. Now this won't work on the 4S or the iPad 2 just yet. When there is a jailbreak, of course I will make a video and this will work on both Mac and Windows. Now this is a tethered jailbreak, so if your battery dies or you turn off your device, you will need a computer to reboot it or else you'll be stuck on the Apple logo and if it does boot, Cydia won't work. Now this jailbreak is very straightforward. You'll only need to download two things to your desktop and that's Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 6 as well as your iOS 5 firmware. Now Red Snow has been updated for the 3GS so a lot of bugs have been fixed and of course links are provided down below. You'll see a link to my site which will take you to an in-depth guide and of course a link to Red Snow and iOS 5. Alright well let's go ahead and begin. If you're on a Windows PC right click on Red Snow and run as administrator click yes. From here we're going to go to extras and we're going to select IPSW and find your 5.0 firmware. Click open, OK, back and jailbreak. Now it's going to prepare the data and of course make sure your device is plugged in once again. And once it's done here we have some options. I'm just going to click next and put it into DFU mode. I'm just going to put it straight away into DFU mode, not going to turn it off. Click next. Going to hold power and home for 10, 9, eight seven six five actually this doesn't matter just as long as the screen goes like that then look over the power button and hold the home button until you see that red snow has recognized your device okay so the jailbreak has begun you can go ahead and let go of the home button and once the jailbreak is done i'll be right back once the jailbreak is complete on your springboard you will see cydia and it will be white and if you click on it it will crash so what I'm about to show you guys is how to get around this. Basically every single time your battery dies or you need to reboot your device, you will have to go through these steps in order to get it working properly again. And basically what we do is go ahead and open up Red Snow again, go to Extras, again select the 5.0 IPSW, OK, back, or actually go to Extras, and we're just going to click Just Boot Tethered right now. And again, put your device into DFU mode next power and home for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 let go of the power button and keep holding the home button now once red snow recognizes your device it will put it into tethered boot mode you'll see a little pineapple and once it's done i'll be right back okay so here we are once again except this time cydia will open and you guys are now successfully jailbroken on ios 5. now yes this is a tethered jailbreak but until an untethered jailbreak is out this is a good solution of course i will make a video as soon as that's out and i hope you guys understand why this video is a bit late i'm sorry about that and please rate this video if it helped comment Leave any questions down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks for watching this video guys, peace. Enjoy your iOS 5 jailbreak.